at Laurel Park. NBBA's premier Smash Weekly. It's one of the best to ever do it. Ran by some great people. So if you want to come through, visit Tuesdays and Fridays. We got Smash tournaments. Uh, One nine eight Laurel Racetrack Road in Laurel, Maryland. Yeah, and now we have Dex versus Oolong. Oolong, the um, upset, the person not supposed to be here. <laughs> Nickel. We got Mies. Okay, we got Mies. I want to talk about this name for a bit. Because last time Dexter and Oolong played, Dexter kind of ran. Dexter kind of ran him over. It was not, he just when he was playing Wii Fit. And I assume this may be a reference to the fact that I critiqued him a lot for that set. But <laughs> the Mii Sword Fighter is not a character, not the me we see him play. Yeah. You know, and I'm, Mii's have been the top of the town recently, less so Sword Fighter, more so a Brawler. A lot of top players picking him up and saying, wait, this character's kind of nasty. But Sword Fighter, I think this character always had tools and was kind of annoying to deal with in certain situations. And he did this scrub air dodge. Yeah. I yeah. mean, everyone gets hit with that. Every Everybody now, gets hit with it. Yeah. And it's, the thing with um, this is that we don't, we don't didn't play me sword fighter. He, um, not even don't know this, but uh, Ulong was our resident me gunner. Mm -hmm. So definitely a character I haven't seen him play at all. But Ooh, we, that was nasty. we did see Eric this weekend at Smash Bros. Tour pulling out uh, me sword fighter. Mm -hmm. So definitely a character we've been seeing a little bit more recently that has the tools. Obviously, you know, getting to. Smash Bros. Tour offline is not easy to do, so having the tools to do something like that is just very nice. But at the same time, you can struggle to land. You don't exactly have the best um, landing options. The counter isn't that great, and it seems he's running the counter set. Um, he's running Shock Room, and he's running the Hero Spin Up B. So realistically, Dexter really just has to jump down, catch an error, I mean catch a jump with an error, and he's dead. That up B does not cover a lot of distance. Yeah, a lot of the Mii Sword Fighters that I played did like the Cannonball side B and the um, like dive up and dive, dive down up. Yeah, the Stone Scabbard yeah. that one. And then I know a lot of um, Mii Sword Fighters these days run the um, like the Firefox one. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, I don't think I've seen that one too much. It's just, yeah. I know it's like become a lot more recent um, due to the fact that that is... Dang, that hits hard. Yep, yeah, that is like about, it's a little bit stronger than um, like the Lynx one. Huh. So that's the reason why, uh, you know, it covers much of distance, thankfully. Yeah. But what started off really strong for uh, Dexter, as long as quickly evened out. All right, catch the jump, and here comes the air dodge. Dexter, not quite there fast enough. All right, but so many times he's getting shield grabbed and kind of shut down on these landings. Oof. Is that fair into the side B? Not getting the uh, sweet spot of it, but it doesn't matter. That's still damage and that's still percent. Yeah, jumping back on the stage, rather take that than you get in, getting caught in the ledge trap scenario, which me Sword Fighter has has a lot of. Yeah, I mean, just like we saw in the first stock, that uh, Chakram seems to be a great option for covering a lot of things. But speaking of great options, the scoops on off smash do not quit. Yeah. Uh, definitely an interesting set that Oolong is running. It's a pretty standard, the standard we see with Chakram and the, torna uh, the Tornado. But with, um, you don't see the counter down B much. You usually see the Reflect down B coming out. Um, what, what song? Is this Genova? Yeah, Genova. I was about to say, they're, they're picking bangers tonight. And then the Hero Spin Up B is, once again, not... Something we haven't seen much past, like, you know, the month one ultimate. When a Hugh came out with that uh, Mii Sword Fighter video. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot all about that. Bruh, that unlocked the whole memory. <laughs> Love Hugh's videos, but... Um, yeah, definitely an interesting pick, I don't... That's it. I can't say I am at all familiar in how this matchup goes. I imagine it really just relies on Oolong being able to hit his combos and play a safe game or um, play a safe game while being able to constantly ledge trap well. And if he can't get those ledge traps, he loses the best part about his kit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is true. Me, Star Fighter, I always felt like one of those characters who, I mean, at least from my experience playing the game, doesn't seem to have too many severely losing matchups. Like, sure, there's matchups that you lose, but as this character still has tools like that. It's a solid, consistent character that I feel like is going to be hard to shut out completely. Yeah, especially when you have the lead like this. You, you want to say, don't have to commit to a lot of options. You can You have the. You have the projectiles to play a safer game. Granted, you do lose a lot of the uh, extreme safety with the lack of a, your own reflector. Mm -hmm. But 
right now, you begin to see the damage is definitely being built up. Beautiful spacing right there by Dex. Pixel perfect, it seems. Yeah. Oolong could have ran down and just dared him. He would have been dead off that. That, oh, dare, yeah, that dare just covers his spikes pretty well. But, uh, let's go the other way this time with that up tilt coming out from Dexter. Right, and that's a move also you do not want to get hit by. The Cyclone from Me Sword Fighter. Especially if those like mid to high percent, if you're a couple character lengths away, you can just run up and do whatever you want after that. Yeah. Add on top of that, um, that combo's into up air. And sweet spot up air from me, uh, Sword Fighter, is legitimately probably one of the strongest up airs in this game. It kills super early. And mostly a lot of great tools can combo into it. But then add in the fact that you also have the hero spin up B. And if you get um, a good, hit, like if you get the good hit on it, you can kill an opponent at 60. Absolutely. But I mean, we talked a lot about uh, Red Oolong and Sword Fighter, but let's talk about Dex for a minute, because like even though he had gotten blown up a little bit here and there, he's still fighting back and like picking apart the tools of me Sword Fighter in an interesting way. Like I saw him clank with the chakra a couple times, doing a lot of empty jump grabs, because you know that Red Oolong wants to hit that upy out of shield and is going for something cheeky with. Uh, as I said before, Uppy out shield, but going for some cheeky with the Uppy pass ledge, but Dexter just playing solid and uh, playing hip to all of this. Yeah, Dexter's been picking up on a lot of Oolong's tricks throughout the, throughout the set as a whole. And he's, he's calling out Oolong's uh, uh -oh. block dodges. Good DIY. Yeah. Great DIY, actually. He's calling out a lot of Oolong's spot dodges and just lack of, um, I guess, staying in shield, lack of aggressive options. Oh, that was an up air. Yeah, going for the wrong aerial right there. I mean, it hit really deep below ledge, so I don't blame him for being a bit hesitant. Yeah, and that back air. Pretty much, it's like it's like cloud back air. Yeah, it's a, it's a good back air, but F still can be enough to take a stop. So I've been bleeding before things got too bad. If Dexter had gotten another couple hits, that might have been too much to come back from. Yeah, indeed. And you're right. Oh, just a great uh, down tilt in the grab there. Okay. Oh, but... Good read, but not having the correct timing, but still capitalizing. All right, getting that uh, down throw. Dexter struggling to land. He's getting tagged back and forth by Red Oolong and another grab. This could be bad, but that reflector turning into something potentially big for Dexter. Once again, the lack of other reflector send it right back at Dexter. Definitely hurt there. As we saw, what started as a really strong advantage state for Oolong is really just we're going back to neutral, but at a disadvantage in terms of uh, percent now. Mm -hmm. And now that little red button, it's beckoning the Dexter. Finding a couple blaster shots and Red Oolong not able to find an answer quite yet. And great roll, so, so scary. Let's see how Dexter can close this out, or if Red Oolong can sneak this one back in there. Amazing grab. What do we got here? Another dash check, still not going to be enough to kill a 160%. Yeah, getting the hitbox is sent outwards rather than up. Oh, it's... Uh, uh, uh. Up here would kill. Oh, getting the... Not the... I don't even know. Not the good hit. You jumped into it, but it was the sour spot. And what a recovery? You're still alive, but... I mean, on borrowed time, any hit could do it. And you're in a left trap situation, as you said before. Oh, the up beat. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> yep, that's gonna take it. The upbeat getting stopped out by the uh, heavy landing on stage. He didn't. He didn't believe. He didn't believe. He should have gone. If you're gonna send it, full send it. Full send. Full send always. Oh my god. That was a. That was an ending. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, we were only messing up the initial hit of um off the tornado, and Dexter making it back, then committing to it. So a pretty unsafe option, mm -hmm. and uh, actually he wasn't even in. He didn't. He put himself into that spot. He got knocked. Uh, Ulan got knocked far away. Not that Dexter didn't have to commit to anything at that point. He could have gone back to pressing the big red, um, the small red button. Mm -hmm. But pressing forward a little bit too much and getting caught with that up there. I mean, the up tilt for it. Yeah. Yeah, he really didn't have to be that close. I mean, if he was able to keep, he gives composer, he could have just like walked up and like stood outside of the range. And I mean, Oolong might have cracked there. There was a lot of spaghetti going around, but composer's like three fourths of the battle in Smash Ultimate, really. Yeah. And looks like that composer has reinstated itself as Dexter opening up big in this game number three here. Yeah, indeed. And you get it. This is probably one of Dexter's favorite stages. 
probably his favorite stage from what I've seen. No, he's a big fan of like counter picking to this as a whole. It helps that it's just a oh. generally good wolf stage. And as you can see there, the blast zones are relative to the stage. You're gonna die early. We did, we saw that dash tag knock kill across stage like a 170 last game. A little bit closer to the edge here, and he died like around 115. I love watching players' body language because after that um, like mistech in the uh, dash tag, Red Oolong just kind of scratched his head and was like, well, damn, uh, it'd, be, it'd be like that sometimes. And what I've noticed, players who end up scratching their head like that do not end up winning that game unless it's MKLeo. MKLeo has that same head scratch, but he he turns up after that. Everyone else, though, it's it's kind of a, a death knoll. Yeah, and right now, Dexter just running away with this. He's he's fine. He's finding all the good hits that he needs, and we're only just not finding anything back. He's using uh, counter a bit too much, and Dexter's just not not hitting it. I feel like the real moral of the story is, even if you're losing, okay, nice chakra, kept his jump, but even if you're losing, don't scratch your head. Yeah, just just don't scratch your head. Just hold that. All right, just keep that body language composed, and then it's still be going to be doable. <laughs> Red Oolong's pulling it back, but I think the damage might have been done for this game. Yeah. It'll be hard to make this comeback. I don't even know. Because the up he's going to take the oh. stock. Oh, hey, that's the stock. That's what you, you just need one to get going. But question is, is can he... Great counter. That actually saved his life. 34%. Not a whole lot now I think about it. <laughs> yep. I mean, hey, this is, once again, on, uh, on town, this is like legitimately... One um one tornado at the ledge at this point. True. I'll be well killed, especially with all this rage. Yep. Damage is damage. At this point, you beggars can't be choosers. Uh oh. Yep. Jumped outwards. Uh, and one thing that up B does not cover far at all. Yeah. Yeah. 